Wewe kutama laki Mimi nipungue Wewe kutihiriki Mimi baba Mimi nipungue Lakini wewe Just love him, just love him, just love him. Just desire that Christ will live in you. Yes, worship the Lord, worship your King, worship your Maker this morning. Just humble yourself, humble yourself before His presence. This is the day that the Lord has made for every one of us to rejoice. Come on, come on. I say, lift up your hands. Inulia buana yomni kono yako na muabudu asubu ya leo. We have come to worship him. We have come to worship him. We have come to worship him. La pakanda la baha. Re kanda la bozeka. Lord of vengeance. Lord of vengeance. You have fought our battles. Kabo shala bara baha. Re la pakatoza. Re kanda la bori baha. Re la pakota zota. Nothing is impossible with you. You are way maker, oh God. You are way maker, oh God. You are way maker, oh God. You are destiny changer, Lord. You are turning our lives around. Can you pray a prayer of faith? Can you pray a prayer of faith? Can you make declarations of faith? Your life is no longer the same. Your destiny is no longer the same. Come on, lift your voice. It doesn't matter where you are right now. You are out already. You are out already. You are out of pain. You are out of disgrace. You are out of failure. You are stronger than you can imagine. La Pakazata, who will see with the eye of faith? Who will see with the eye of faith? Rapakata, Malekata Zata. Bible says we have been given a joint city. We have been given a joint city. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. We have been given a joint city together with Christ. Together with Christ in the heavenly realms. Lift your voice from there. Command. Command. Command breakthrough. Command peace in your family. Command victory in your family. La pakata la 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 ba. Re pakata zanta. Re pakata la ba shantaria. Ria pakata la baraba. Ria la pakata zanta. Ria makata la ba shaya. 
Makarabalabazota, declare release, declare release, release of the potential, release of the gift, release, release of your of your family, release of your children, release of your husband, release of your wife, release of your business, whatever is bound, whatever is bound, we are in the environment of the Holy Ghost. Where the Holy Ghost stays, where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. There is liberty. There is liberty. Refuse to be bowed. Refuse to suffer. Refuse to extend suffering. It is the time of your release. Refuse to be in captivity. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want you to listen to me this morning. You should understand that uh, what the Bible says, what is recorded in the Bible is true. How many believe that everything written in the word of God is true? Are we together? So if you have ever come across any verse that is saying that God will bless the work of your hands. If he blessed, then he can bless now. Are we together? If you have ever come across a verse that through the stripes of Jesus, we are healed, then you should claim your healing. If he did then, if he opened the gates then, if he declared deliverance to his people and they were released then, then it can happen now. Are we together? Because our God is not bowed. So I want you this morning, whatever is disturbing you, whatever is challenging you, you know God has ever done it. Maybe you feel you are already in fire. But I want to tell you, there are people who are in real fire and they came out. So your fire is not special. I said your fire is not special. Your challenge is not special before God. Am I talking to us? You may be in pain right now. You may be, you may be in your lowest right now. But I want to tell you there are people who are in their lowest. But God came. They were in prison but God came. Are we together? They were in all manner of challenges but God came. Can you go before him this morning and tell him daddy. This, point out that which is disturbing you. Point out that which is making you to feel that you are not yourself. I want you to point it out. And, and, and just compare it with God. If God if God fought for his people, if God fought for his people, I want to tell you, he can fight your battles. If he gave his people victory, he can give you victory this morning. If he broke barrenness, he can break yours in the name of the Lord. If he lifted, even those who are on, 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 on dust, he can lift you this morning. If he turned the sorrows of his people, if he turned their mourning, if he turned their mourning into dancing, he can turn yours now. I said he can turn yours now. He can do it now. He can do it now. He can heal you now. He can heal you now. I said he can heal you now. Can you begin to sing God? Can you begin to sing God? Can you begin to sing God in your family? Maybe you are wondering, will this marriage continue? I want to tell you, if God is in it, if God is in it, nothing, nothing is impossible. Nothing is too hard for one come to do. He can do it. He is the same yesterday. What he did yesterday, he can do now. What he can do now, he can do tomorrow. Don't postpone your miracle. He is the lifter of our hands. You will not walk your head down forever. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take off that garment of shame. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Begin to declare solutions, begin to declare answers. Rapa katalaba shanta, le kariaba sota, rapa kato zota. Thank you for release, O God. Thank you for release, O God. No more pain, no more mourning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise, Lord. We bless your beautiful name this morning. God of all possibilities.
hearts. God of all possibilities, I worship you. Can you lift up your hands this morning? As we declare he is God of all possibilities. With him all things are possible. I said with him all things are possible. With our one God all things are possible. Lift up your hands this morning. And crown him in your life. That he is God of all possibilities. Ah, sharabakata barabu shanta. La poco zota. We love you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. you'll never let us down you never subject us to shame you never fail us Lord you never fail to do your will to those who wait on you Lord you never fail to perform your word you are trustworthy you are true God and you are a faithful God thank you for every one of us I pray daddy that no one Lord who is here won't go the same. No one who has come with any challenge will carry it back. Nobody who will Lord Almighty even be following online whose challenge will remain because your God who is not challenged by any challenge take over, heal the sick and courage those that are discouraged through the word of identification. I pray God that even them that are bound by sin, they will be set free. This time of release, nothing is left behind. We will not leave our families behind. We will not leave our resources behind. We will not leave anything behind. But we are liberated and moving together because it is the Lord's time in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Can you shout amen to the King of Kings and amen. the Lord of Lords? Come on, shout amen to Whoa. Jesus. Yeah. I want to tell us that still God is in the business of doing good. He has never ceased to do good. And uh, I want to encourage you this morning that your challenge is not bigger than God. Amen. amen. And uh, even today, you can carry your miracle with you. You can, you can come here and before the end of this service, you can be speaking another story. Banas, if you're a son, 
Why am I saying this? Ah, uh, I, I believe it was just around seven something yesterday, and uh, one lady who is my friend, I, I saw a text and she told me, please pray for me. I never attend quickly because I know she is someone who is, who is uh, prayerful. Even right now, she is in a, in a, in a process of prayer of 14 days. And uh, I just wrote her text. I asked her, is everything okay? She replied and told me, no, I am not okay. I decided to call. And when I called her, she told me the way she got an attack. And uh, she decided to go to the hospital because it was too much. And she went visiting the doctor. First of all, she had a lot of fever. She was told that she has a very bad bacterial infection. And her cholesterol is very high. You understand when the cholesterol is high. One as if you were sad. So it was a worrying report. But I just, I, just, I just told her that is a lie. Tell your neighbor what you are going through is a lie of the devil. But as if you are sad. Tell somebody what, something that is worrying you, it is a lie of the devil. So I, I, I just told her that is a lie. And I want to tell you what you are going through right now as a child of God is the lie of the devil. And before we come to the end of this service, we will have a testimony. Are we together? I, I, just, I just declared of our life that she's well and everything is okay. And uh, this is how she wrote a, a text. This is how she wrote a message. Uh, I, I just spoke with her. We never prayed. I declared by, uh, by, by 9.10, she said, oh, the, the message came by 9.10, I'm not too well. Then I called, I declared over her life that she is free. And by 10, uh, 10 minutes to 11, she wrote, I am totally healed. Praise the Lord. I am totally healed just like that. Glory to God and thanks for declaration. So what I'm declaring is what, what I'm declaring to you is what I declare to her. Are we together? Then she saw uh, my, 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 my message uh, and she was re uh, responding to the midnight praise, the word that I, I, I just wrote. And she said, amen, amen, amen. The body that was so weak is, is at its peak of strength. And I haven't blinked since we talked. Thanks for calling back and thanks for being a healing vessel. God just used you divinely for me. More grace. Can you, can you just lift up your hands and tell the Lord, whatever is disturbing me, it is no longer a threat in my life. I am free. My marriage is free. My business is free. My children's life are, are free. Their destinies are free in the name of the Lord. Maybe you are, uh, you are, you are in, the, in the middle of death uh, and you are wondering what will happen in my life. I came to tell you, the Lord is delivering you. The Lord is setting you free. The Lord is empowering empowering you. I said he is empowering you. I am making a declaration over your life. You are in your new season. You are in your new season. You are in another level of glory. I said you are in another level of glory. The forces of darkness, they have lost you completely. They have lost you completely. In Jesus mighty name, turn to two or three people. Tell them I am in another level of glory and the devil can do nothing about it. Tell somebody I am already released. My, my, my life is already released and the devil cannot mess me up. Can you give a testimony to somebody this morning? Come on, come on, tell somebody I am out. I am already out. I am no longer in bondage. I am no longer I am no longer a slave of fear. I am liberated. I am healed. I am prosperous. I am victorious. Hey! If you believe, shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. May I have your seat. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we appreciate this wonderful team, Zion Trumpeters? Uh, the Lord bless you mightly uh, for your commitment and uh, I, I always thank God because of, of, of your lives and uh, because of your discipline.
Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Are you blessed to be in the house of the Lord? I, I, I want to remind us that we are still in our season of divine release. Praise the Lord. And nothing will hold you back. I said nothing will hold you back. Nothing will hold you back. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to receive the word of God this beautiful morning. And uh, I want to bring the word of God the way the Lord released it in my, in my, in my spirit. Today we have several services. Uh, we have even a, a family service and you cannot afford to, to, to be out of uh, that program. It is very important you appear before the Lord even to position your family. Praise the Lord. I want to share on something uh, that uh, I have entitled uh, Governing Your Destiny Gates. Governing or Guarding Your Destiny Gates. Governing or guarding your destiny gates. And I want to begin uh, by also inviting our online church. We appreciate you. If you are within Moranga, please find your way. Come to church and don't say that I will be, I'll, I'll just listen and watch when I am on my bend. That one will not uh, help you much because in partition we always say it is on, 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 on site. So uh, if you cannot access uh, the, the church, uh, here, please, uh, you can share this broadcast and God will bless you. I want to begin by saying that uh, gates are very important uh, and uh, the way we are so very mindful of uh, the physical gates, uh, we have left some gates unattended, unguarded, and uh, because always the spiritual controls the physical, Many of us have become victims of situations because when it comes to their spiritual gates, they are not guarded. You can be released, you can go at a high speed, but when you arrive where you are going and the gates are shut, you can be very frustrated. Am I talking to somebody? How many of us you have ever gone somewhere, you have arrived early, or even maybe in your own home, and uh, you cannot access because the gate is shut. That is the most frustrating thing that can, can, can ever happen in your life. Are we together? So you can be released the way we have been declaring and commanding and uh, uh, we have faith in God that this is a time of divine release and you can be released. But if you, if you abandon the gates of your destiny, if they are not guarded, then it can be a very big challenge. Bible records in the book of uh, Psalm 24, that is where we, we want to have our reference from, though we shall read several other verses. From verse 7, it is undressing the gates. It is undressing the gates. And uh, the way physical gates uh, are there are also the spiritual gates. Bana sifiwe san. I said bana esu asifiwe. So the way there is gates in the physical world, there are also gates in the spiritual world, and which are the key and the determiner. Are we together? Sometimes uh, you can wonder what is happening in my life. What, 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 what is wrong with my life? I am, I am doing everything right, but there is no progress. There is no movement. There is no advancement. There is nothing that is happening that is notable in my life. What could be the problem? You can be very mindful on the physical. I know many of us, when you close you, even your door, even your gate, you must confirm that the gate uh, is safe, the doors are safe, and uh, we have now abandoned the most important gates of our lives, the gates of our destinies. Tell your neighbor, I, the gate of your destiny is safe. Praise the Lord. Are we together? So uh, <laughs> I, I want us to read there so that we can, we can uh, roll from there. The Bible says, lift up your hands, O ye gates. And be lifted up, you everlasting doors. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, 
and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. The next verse. The next verse. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord might in battle. Then, verse 9, <laughs> it is being repeated again. Lift up your hands. Some gates have got hands. Oh, you gates. Lift up. Deal with the neck or there kindly. You everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Now, I want to put it to every one of us that uh, if you are not careful and sensitive and uh, you guard your destiny doors, you'll be very unfortunate. You'll be very discouraged. you always end in despair. you always end into the place of losing because you don't know what is happening in your life. If gates are not guarded, the enemy takes advantage. If gates are not well guarded, if gates are not shut, if gates are not well kept, the enemy takes advantage. And that's why the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Who is saying this? It is God himself who is saying my own people and destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now, if you lack knowledge, you will just live this life in assumption. And you'll be fighting battles that you don't understand. So, gates are set to be opened or to give access or to deny access to the enemies or to give access to the friends. Am I talking to somebody? Gates, the purpose of gates, it is to give security. The purpose of gates, it is to make sure that there is safety. And now there are people who have become victims and they are in pain, they are in sorrow, they are in losses because they assumed the spiritual gates. There is another force that is mending their gates. And I want to tell us this, when it comes to destinies, not all people are opposed. Not all people have battles. The enemy knows who is you. The devil understands who is you. And that is why we don't fight the same battles. That is why we don't face the same opposition. Men and women with destinies, they are well guarded. And in the realm of the spirit, in the gates of destiny, there is an allocation of a strong man. That is why some of us, when you want to make a step to move forward, there's a time, certain forces, they must stand against your life. They must arise. When you're saying it is my time to progress, you must be stopped. You must be opposed. Systems can crash because of an individual who has a great destiny. Can you lift up your right hand? Say, every strong man who is guarding the gates of my destiny, every strong man who is fighting my destiny, who is opposing my destiny, who is standing in the gates of my destiny, right now, I am declare, you are falling down, you are falling down, you are falling down. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, I repent for leaving my destiny gate unguarded from now I won't be sensitive from now I will be alert in the mighty name of Jesus Christ if we are together can you say amen so if the destiny gates are left without being guarded destinies are in trouble there are men and women who have died they are already buried. 
They died without manifesting their destinies, without manifesting their greatness, because the devil knew if this one goes the way he's supposed to go, this family has been liberated. If this one finds access into life and make it in life, it will help many in the society. So the best thing it is to strike, it is to kill. And in many killings, they happen at the gate. Many decisions are made at the gate. So there are people who have been denied access. They have never accessed their greatness. They have never accessed their miracle. They have never accessed their lives. Why? Their gates are manned by somebody. That is why we are people. A family that no one has ever accessed marriage. And if they access, they must be called back. I'm not talking to us. That is why people have history that in our family, nobody, nobody, nobody stays in marriage. Nobody has ever made it. Nobody, no one, no one, no one. Why? They are gates unguarded. And whoever tries to stand like a star, this person, the person with good heart, the person who is willing to help other family members, the, the person who has the burden of others, this is the person that is restricted all of her. Have you ever seen that? Now the Bible says, lift up your, your hands, O ye get. Lift up your hands, oh ye in gates. I want us to understand that this life is the life of battle. Tell your neighbor, this life is the life of battle. You cannot be coward and make it. You cannot be coward and make it. Bible records, since the day of John the Baptist until now, until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and only the violence shall take it by force. If you cannot be violent, you say bye bye to greatness. You say bye bye to your destiny. God created you not to be a failure. God created you and he saved you not to struggle in life. But if you cannot guard the gates of your destiny, if you cannot get access and you do what is right, you will suffer while carrying your Bible. Say from now, I position myself. I will guard the gates of my destiny. I will guard the gates of my family. I will guard the gates of the destiny of my children. I will guard them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If I'm talking to you, can you say amen? So if you are on date from being great, understand you are well guarded. You understand as well, it, it is guarded. It is guarded. It can be guarded by the enemy. So I have come this morning so that you shift how you pray. Are we together? So that you tune your prayer and you pray right. So that when you are seeking God, you seek God from the place of revelation. Am I talking to us? Now, capture this and God will help you. Losing the control of the gates will make you to be living a life of trouble because the enemy will take advantage of your ignorance. Please note that. Losing the control of the gate will make you to live a life of trouble or a miserable life and the enemy will take advantage of your ignorance. The enemy always is scout. The enemy will always scout your, your move or your movement. Some years ago, my place was accessed by thugs. Some of us, you can remember, we were here in church. And I believe some of those thugs were in the service. Communicating with the thugs at home. Are we together? Communicating with thugs at home. And they accessed 
my home state and they were they had a good time actually the way they broke they were removing stones from the wall so they had all the time and i can't forget they went with my dress that i had never even put on <laughs> praise the lord i had just hung it there and i had seen this one the way it was made the way it was beautiful the way it was smart and when i went home i just looked i could not find it so whenever the gates of your destinies are not guarded you end up in losses you end up in counter attacks the enemy will always maximize your ignorance and you make sure that he is attacking when you are not aware. Am I talking to us? That is why God is very mindful. Bible is full of the instruction of the gate. If you read in the book of Genesis, we will, we will come where we have started, but if you read Genesis chapter number 22, can we begin uh, verse 17 so that some of us uh, will understand this uh, as we, we continue. Now, Bible says, blessing, I will bless you. So God can bless you, but if you have not guarded the gates of your destiny, the blessings will be snatched by the enemy. <laughs> How many of us have ever seen the the, the street people, especially the blind ones. If you are too generous to help a blind person and you want to give a blind person a note of 500 shillings, you're not put in that cabo. You just make sure that you give him and you tell him this is 500 shillings. Why? If you put in that vessel that he is using, the vessel that has some coins, chokoras, the street children, they will pick and go. Am I right? So some of us, because our destiny gates have not been guarded, God has been releasing blessings, but the enemy has been busy. Whenever it's released, the enemy picks it. Whenever victory is released, because you have not guarded your gates, that victory is snatched. An opportunity comes. A tender comes. An open door just is, 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 is released in your life. When you are almost there, something must strike. And you will be left in pain more than when that thing was being released. Blessing, I'll bless you. And multiplying, I'll multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gates of who? Of their enemies. The gates of who? The gates of their enemies. So some Christians, they are in church, but the enemies have possessed their gates. Hey. That is why when you come to the family gate, we have men and women in church who are not enjoying family. They are not enjoying marriage. The enemy has possessed. The enemy has sat on that man. The enemy has sat on, on, in the life of that woman. When it comes to the gate of religion or the gate of worship, the enemy has just possessed. So God is mindful of your gate. Tell your neighbor, God is mindful of your gate. From now, don't be ignorant when it comes to the gate. Begin to command, begin to declare the deploying of the angels of God to watch over your gate. I seem to watch over your gate from this morning. I have come to commission every one of us. You are supposed to guard the gate of your the, the, the gates of your destiny otherwise you'll meet God when you are poor and you are not meant to be poor you'll die of some things may God forbid I said may the Lord forbid 
because you gave the enemy access over your life. I want you to lift up your hands uh, and begin to declare any enemy that has penetrated your life, any enemy that has penetrated your mind, any enemy that has penetrated your health, any enemy that has penetrated in the work of your hands uh, because you never garden the gate of your destiny. You gave them access. Uh, they penetrated. Uh, they are sitting in your life. Uh, they are possessed you. They are controlling you the way they want. Uh, can you kick them out? Uh, can you command them out of your life, uh, out of your destiny. Whatever the enemy is holding, whatever the enemy is sitting on, declare right now. You are the, let them let them live your life. Let them live your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we command uh, by the authority of the word of God, every blessing that the enemy has snatched uh, in our lives, uh, every property, whatever the enemy has, uh, has possessed, uh, and it belongs to us, uh, we command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, to release, uh, to release, uh, to release, uh, to release uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe, can you shout amen? As a child of God, you are mandated, you are empowered, you are strengthened so that you can guard your gates and so that the forces of darkness will never prevail against your life. That is why in the book of Matthew chapter number 16 the Bible says in verse number 18 I have built my church. Who is this church? Can you say I am the church? Come on, say I am the church. I am the church. So you are built on a rock and this rock is Christ and the gates of hell are not supposed to prevail against your life. I said the gates of hell are not supposed to prevail against your life. Whatever God has given unto you, the enemy has no power over it if you know who you are in Christ Jesus. So God is not expecting you to surrender to your enemies. Are we together? I know some of us, there are things that you have left. There are things that you are praying for, you no longer pray for it. The battles that you are engaging yourself, you don't, you no longer engage yourself. You have decided to stay in peace with the devil. This is the time you begin to disturb the devil. I said this is the time you begin to disturb the devil. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee away from you. Hey, am I talking to us? Now, God is expecting you to drive even in hell. Even in hell, God is expecting you to drive and to make it. There's our church. I don't know whether it is in Sadis, in the book of Revelation, chapter number two. This church, they were living where there was the throne of the devil. So as a child of God, God is expecting you to drive even if you are thrown in hell. Why? If you can't, you are gate very well. The devil has no access. The devil has no power. I say the devil has no power. Now, where we are, we started, I want, I want, I want us to begin there. Bible says, lift up your hands, O ye gates. Lift up your hands, O ye gates. And be lifted up. Now, if the gates cannot hear instruction, today it, it has become very easy according to the technology that people are using. Even if you are working in an institution, it is very hard to pick something there because of the screening. Am I talking to us? Before you access the institution or the place, you are screened. Before you move out, you are screened. So God is waiting for you to have a high level of spiritual sensitivity. That before any power of darkness strikes, you understand. God is expecting you to have a high discernment so that whatever is sent from hell to block you before it strikes, you have already stopped it. Now, lift up your hands, O ye gates. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lifted up. So gates can be signed. 
to be so stubborn to keep you outside the will of God, to keep you outside your greatness, to keep you outside accessing what God ordained for you. The one reckons very well in the book of Joshua that Jericho was tightly shut. Was it shut for others? No, but it was shut for the children of Israel. So even destiny gates are not shut for all. Say your neighbor, destiny gates are not shut for all. <laughs> but as if you're son, destiny gates are not shut for all. Demons will not be deployed from hell to shut gates for anybody. Gates are governed and they are guarded by angels of darkness for men and women who are carrying something. So Jericho was given an instruction. Nobody was permitted to go in or to come out. Why? They had what God was doing with the life of the children of Israel. Tell your, tell your neighbor, the devil is aware of what God is doing with your life. <laughs> the season of release, I tell you the truth. If you are not careful, the enemy will counterattack. And you meet yourself somewhere where you have never dreamt to be in life. If you cannot begin to command your gates, if you cannot receive and divine instruction so that your gates will remain safe. So, I came to tell you, this is the high time you begin to undress the gate of your life. You begin to speak. Whoever has been positioned in the life of anyone under the anointing of my voice so that you remain out so that you not access your greatness so that you not access your wealth so that you not access the promises of God I came to declare in the name of the Lord may God arise I say may God arise may God whom brought down the walls of Jericho I said God never even touched the gate God dealt with the walls and when the walls fell the children of Israel they were given ability to access the city I came to declare you are accessing I said you are accessing your life you are accessing that business you are accessing your family you are accessing your greatness I command the walls I said I command the walls that any gate of your destiny is hanging on I command those walls I command those walls they are not permitted whatever has been put in place to shut you out I command Command them in the name of the Lord. Whoever is standing there, I send whoever is standing, whoever is standing with an instruction, any man, any woman who has been given instruction from hell so that you not go where God has called you. I am declaring the name of the Lord. May God strike them. I said, may God strike them. May the Lord 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 strike them. In Jesus mighty name. And I speak uh, to the gates of your destiny. To lift up their hands this morning. I speak to the gates of your family. To the gates of the destinies of your children. Come on. If the enemy declared that your children are doomed from destruction. I came to deny him. I said I came to deny him. In the name of the Lord. I am declare this season. The king of glory. He is getting access. Jesus is governing our lives. I say Jesus is governing our families. Jesus is governing the work of our hands. The king of glory is coming in. The king of glory is coming in. I speak to the everlasting doors. Now I'm going to share at the Milango Yazamani and I command in the name of the Lord whatever whatever instruction those doors received what 
whatever instruction those gates received, uh, I came to speak uh, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Uh, the King of Glory is getting access. Uh, the King of Glory is governing your life. Uh, I said the King of Glory is taking over in your life. Uh, I command in the name of the Lord, uh, you will not be shut out anymore. You will not be delayed anymore. I said you will not be delayed anymore. I declare the divine speed. Uh, I said I speak the divine speed uh, over your life in Jesus mighty name. If you go to Israel in the city of Jerusalem, even today there is a gate that has been shut all the years. It is called the Eastern Gate. And uh, <laughs> the people who do not know the truth, they made sure that that gate has been shut with the tombs. I'll come to show you the types of gates because even Job is talking about the gate of death. So if the gates of death are opened in your life, there is nothing that you start least. There is nothing that you start least. The vision must die. The marriage must die. Business must die. Greatness must die because that gate has been shut with the tombs. The gate of death. So if you visit Israel, and that is the gate that they know is that when Jesus will come, you will land in the valley of Jehoshaphat. And that is the eastern gate that you use to enter to the city. So they knew, they knew that that is the gate that you use. And that gate is totally shut. It is called the eastern gate. Are we together? The eastern gate. And uh, many of us, you have been denied access for long. If gates are shut, you stagnate. You remain, you remain, you remain the same, in the same place. And you are not God. The Bible says God is the same yesterday. Today, tell somebody you are not God. To, to be in the same level yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible says he raises from glory to Hallelujah. So, the gates must hear and lift up their, their hands. So that you, who is the carrier of the king of glory. <laughs> Let me tell us this. Even in the Bible, the Bible records, who will take me, who will take me to the city? God is expecting in your family that you will carry him because he uses ancient called man. So if your family gate is shut and you have no revelation to understand that I am the one to bring God in my family, in the, in, in the lives of my people, they will be shut out of salvation. That is why Rahab, she was staying at the gate. Rahab the handlot. Am I talking to us? She was staying at the gate. Now when you are at the gate, you are able to understand what is going on around. When you can't the gates of your destiny, you have discernment. You understand what is happening around. You control what is coming in, what is coming out. Some of us, what you are fighting with, what is eating you up in your life is what you are accepted. What you gave access. Are we together? What you gave access. Some today, they cannot control themselves. They are born again, speaking thanks. Hallelujah. Full of the Holy Ghost. But because they use the gates of their eyes badly, through pornography, uh, they cannot come out of masturbation. I spoke, I've, I've talked even with married, married women telling me, can you imagine I met my husband in bedroom masturbating? And every time he is in pornography. Gates of your ears. What are you listening? What you listen constantly will influence you either negatively or positively. Can you take me to the book of Ezekiel? I am just 
something to go ahead of what I'm supposed to. Ezekiel 11 verse 3. Ezekiel 11 verse 3. Today we are going to pray. I said we are going to pray in the name of Jesus. And you will not be foolish again. I said you will not to be foolish again. Can you begin verse 2? Or verse 1 because it is not, it's not a lot to read. My God, may the Lord help us. I said, may the Lord help us. Then the Spirit of the Lord lifted me up. So for you to guard the gates of your destiny, you must be in the Spirit. I said, you must be in the Spirit. I pray from this morning, may the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon your life so that every time you'll be lifted up, you'll understand what is happening. You cannot know what is happening in, 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 in the secret if you are down. You cannot understand what is happening in the city when you're in the, when you're in the pit. So the Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the eastern gate of the Lord's house, which faces eastward, and there at the door of the gate were how many? Were how many? Come on. Were how many? One gate guarded by 25 men, and they were not simple men. I don't know how many are guarding yours. Praise the Lord. And there at the door of the gate were 25 men, among whom I saw Jazania, the son of Azru, and Palatia, the son of Benaiah, princes. So, <laughs> these were not ordinary people. They were people who are rulers. Rulers. And they were doing what? Manning the gate. Now, they were princes of people. The next verse. And they were at the gate. And he said to me, son of man, these are the men who devise what? Iniquity. And give weekend counsel in the city. So sometimes you wonder. What is happening in my life? You wonder. What is this that is destroying me? Now, this is the city and it is one gate that was guarded by 25 men and their work was to do what? To give or to devise iniquity and to give a weekend Cancel. So when your destiny gates are guarded by the enemy, you don't adhere to the counsel of God. Hallelujah. You always receive the right word, the right instruction, but the enemy will come and give you another weekend counsel. Ah, there's no need of praying. There's no need of believing. This is too much. There's no need of holding on to the faith. Furthermore, I've been praying. Furthermore, I've been. And the, the enemy will cause you to meet with someone who will discredit whatever you are doing. I've learned all these years. Praying, 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 praying. And from there, you'll be demoralized from within. And you lack that zeal. Why? Already you are you are destining gates are under attack. Me together. How many of us have ever received something, even a very powerful prophetic word, and you sit down, the enemy comes and visits you, and I be a high. it is not true. It is not true. Don't believe it. These people, they are used to, to brainwash you. I tell you the truth. You will have put, because your destiny gate is content. So, this man, Ezekiel, was able to see what they were doing. And what were they doing? They were devising iniquity and give weekend counsel in the city. So when your destiny gates are unguarded, even destiny helpers cannot access your life. They will meet with the wrong people who will speak bad about you. You'll meet with a, with a, with a, a brother or a brother that is sent by God in your life. 
And because your understanding gets uncanded, he will fall in the wrong hands. And this, this brother, when he asks about you, please, can you tell me about Sister Swen? So I see she's a very serious sister, very committed to church. That person in church will tell that brother, ah, that is a pretender. That's a pretender. Don't even attempt to talk to her. People won't just meet with the wrong individuals to, instead of them giving the right access in your life, they won't give the wrong information about you. They will taint you badly. They will speak bad about you. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we have come and we want to stand in the authority of the word of God that whoever is guarding our destinies, uh, whoever has got uh, the gate of our destinies, we want to declare in the name of the Lord. They have no power again. We are going to prophesy. We are going to speak. We are going to give a declaration. We are going to give an authorization and our gates will be safe. Verse 3, this is what the Bible says in the same chapter, in the same chapter before we go back to command our gates to lift up their hands. Who say the time is not near? God has said it is the time of release. But men guarding the city they say, no, it is not time. It is not time. Who say time is not near to build houses? This city is the cauldron, and we are the meat. So God speaks, and somebody else decides to speak otherwise. Can you lift up your right hands and declare any man standing at the gates of my destiny to speak contrary to the word of God. Any demon speaking contrary to the work of my hands. Uh, any force of darkness uh, speaking contrary to my progress. Speaking contrary to my season. I am declare. May you fall by the sword of God. May you fall this morning. May you fall this morning. May May you fall this morning. May you scatter this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rapa Katalaba Shanta. These people are saying it is not time to build. It is not time to build. Can you begin to declare what God has spoken this season? It is coming to pass. It is coming to pass. Any voice speaking contrary. Any voice speaking contrary. May that voice be silenced. I say, may that voice be silenced. Silenced uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I said in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, so these princes of people, they were against the progress of what was supposed to happen in the city. The the gates uh, of the families, they are families that are ungrounded in poverty because they are they are men who are speaking at their gates and they are saying nobody will ever rise in this family, nobody will ever build in this family, nobody will ever con 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 complete uh, education in this family, nobody will ever have peace in this family. Why? They are they are they are destined in gates. Unguarded, and when the destiny gates are unguarded, those who are guarding the gate they determine what is entering and what is coming out. That is why we have families that the enemy has guarded the gates, and these families have been branded by a certain disease. Eh? Are we together? You can hear people saying, Our family. People are dying of cancer. People are dying of diabetes. People are dying of this and this sickness. And everybody in the family is accepting slowly that this is a family disease. And when you go even to the doctors, they will ask you, is there anyone in the family who has this and this disease? Praise the Lord. <laughs> are we together? Well, especially even... Uh, pregnant women, when you go, they must scrutinize. Is there anyone in the family who has blood sugar? Who has this? Who has this? Who has this? So that they prepare you in case it happens. It is in the family. Why? That gate has been left open. Can you lift up your right hand? Say, any disorder 
in my family any genetic disease any genetic problem I separate myself I shut that gate by the blood of Jesus I shut that door by the blood of Jesus what killed my ancestors will not kill me will not kill my children in the name of the Lord any genetic thing any generational thing any altar that is controlling the destinies of people in my lineage today I stand at the gate of my lineage I shut out every evil I shut out genetic diseases I shut out genetic disorders and I lose myself I separate myself I separate my children in the name of the Lord in the name of the Lord if you believe shout amen so I want to declare this morning that anything that is in your family tree that is not of God. I break it over your life. I said I break it over your life. I have come and together we are joining our faith. We want to deal with what has been destroying our lives all these years. The Bible says and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall set you free. Therefore this morning what Whatever those who guard the gates said it is not time. And the Lord and already declared it is time. I came to declare in the name of the Lord. May you be positioned in the will of God. I said may you be positioned in the will of God. I am declaring the activation. Whatever was delayed in your life by the voices of gatekeepers. I said by the voices of demonic gatekeepers. Come on. Somebody is wondering who are these gatekeepers gatekeepers. The witches in your village, they can control you while you are here in Moranga. The witches in your village, they can control your business while you are here in Moranga. The witches and sorcerers in your village, they can control what you are, what you are receiving. They can, they can control. But today, I said but today, by the authority of the word of God, may the Lord strike them. I said, may the Lord strike sorcerers. May the Lord strike witches. May the Lord strike magicians. I cut off their network. I cut off their network in your life. I said, I cut off their operations in the name of the Lord. May the Lord frustrate their devices. May the Lord frustrate their machines. May the Lord destroy their networks. I soak your life into the blood of Jesus. I soak your business into the blood of Jesus. I soak your destiny into the blood of Jesus Christ. I declare your destiny secure. I send your destiny secure. I send your destiny secure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They were saying it is no time to build houses. Say I'll not die a tenant. Say I'll not die a tenant. Say I'll not die a tenant. I shall build houses and live in them. Come on, say I shall build houses and I shall live in them. I want to hear you say I shall build houses and live in them because that is the will of God. That is the promise of God. But if you are destined and get unguarded by satanic forces of darkness. They will say you are not supposed to have a house. They will permit you to build a die. I am declare in the name of the Lord. I commission you by the authority of the word of God. You shall build houses and you shall live in those houses. I said you will not be meat in your enemy's mouth. I said you will not be their meat. I sent your children will not be their meat. Come on, I sent your wife will not be their meat. Your husband will not be their meat. The, your beloved will not be their meat. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If the gates of death are opened, that, that's the time you meet a family as a certain cycle. That in between this and this month, there must die a person. <laughs> the lady that I was telling you that I was praying with her last week. Oh, no, no, no. It's this week. She called me. She asked me a question that I instructed her. She asked me, 
Is it possible that uh, even through dreams, you can meet yourself connected with distraction? I, I told her it is true. It is, it is very real. She told me for the first time, I've dreamt with my uncle who is late. And uh, in, the, in the conversation, through the dream, he told me that he died because of a certain disease. And uh, she woke up. And she woke up. She told me, I just said, I have no, I have no link, I have no fellowship with the dead. And, uh, and I just finished it. One week has not ended. She dreamt, I believe, the beginning of this week. And yesterday, yesterday, somebody who dreamt and she was very okay when she was dreaming. But yesterday, she was told that her cholesterol is too high. And that is endangering her body organs. Do you get that? Why? A force stood at the gate in the name of late uncle. Never ever ignore dreams. Are we together? Never ignore visions. So when the kids are guarded by the weekend, you operate under the mercy of the weekend. Actually, the weekend has no mercy. That's why some of us, you wonder, you have a history. Your MPESA, your account, it always, it has a, some, a, some li limits. Because it has been commanded, you should not receive this certain amount of money. The Bible reckons very well in the book of Isaiah 60. You can read verse 11. Because if your understanding gates are shut, you, you struggle. When it comes to your physical life, you struggle when it comes to, to advancement in life. You'll be struggling. Bible reckons very well. Therefore, your gate shall be open continually. This is the will of God. Tell your neighbor, this is the will of God for you. That your gate will be open continually. And not the gates to usher in evil. It is the gate to bring in that which is good. You are gate, therefore, can you can just take me verse 10 so that we can connect with verse 11. I believe somebody is getting something. I said I believe somebody is getting something. The sons of foreigners shall build up your walls. If walls are built, there must be a gate. Hallelujah. The wars, the purpose of the wars is for security purposes. And even the purpose of the gate is for security what? Purpose. And their kings shall minister to you. For in my wrath I struck you, but in my favor I have had mercy on you. Praise be to God. So when God is revealing to us on how to guard the gates of our destinies. In other words, already the favor of God is upon our lives. And I want to declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord begin to show you favor. I said, may he show you, may the Lord show you favor. May he show you favor in the marketplace. May he show you favor before men. And I say, may the favor of God, may the favor of God rest upon you. That you'll be accepted out there. That whatever you do shall be acceptable in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If we are together, can you say amen? Now, verse 11 says, therefore, your gates shall be open continually. Therefore, your gate shall be open continually. When your spiritual gates are open continually, <laughs> you enjoy the presence of God. You enjoy the connection with the glory of God. When Jacob was running from his brother Esau, you know the story in the book of Genesis. Believe it is 28. 
And when he arrived at Bethel, it was already in the evening, and he decided to sleep there. He never knew where he slept. But where he slept, there was an altar there. There was a covenant there. So when it comes uh, to the gate of destinies, they are governed through altars and covenants. Praise the Lord. They are governed through altars or covenants. That is why you should always make sure that you have traced an altar of God where your life, where your family, where your business, where everything that you do are governed through your sacrifices. When he arrived there and he slept there, the Bible records there was a lander. And this lander was touching the heaven and the earth. In other words, there was a connection. Praise the Lord. There was a connection. And through that connection, he was able to see. And what did he saw? He saw angels ascending and descending. <laughs> and this man, he was able to hear and to understand the will of God for his life. So the moment you begin to guard the gate of your destiny, this is the time you capture the will of God. Because God will never allow his kingdom to suffer loss. God cannot continually release divine things in your life. He cannot release opportunity in your, in your life when he knows that you lose. Am I right? You cannot give your child 50,000 when you know he is not safe. Am I right? If this child is not mature enough, you cannot give him some amount of money because you know it is risking. So there are things that God is still holding. You are praying. You are asking. You are calling upon the name of God. But God knows if he releases and you are not prepared, you are not guarding the gate of your destiny, you will lose. And the pain of losing is bigger than the pain of not having. Hey. Hallelujah. The pain of losing your husband is bigger than when you don't have a husband. Mm -hmm. The pain of losing your wife is greater than when you are not married. So there are things that God is keeping because you are still asleep. You are, you are still blind. You are still comfortable. Oh, you just pray, Father, thank you because of the gift of life. Amen. God says, continue breathing until the time you will know on how to guard. If you know on how to guard, I will release. One day, my, my son was, was uh, pushing me. I want, I, I want, I want, I don't know, I, I want a car, I want a I want a, 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 an airplane. You see these toys. And he told me you are not going home. He started to cry. He started to cry when you, you, are, you are coming from this place, going home. From, after, I, I believe it was, it was the first, first date first of this man. So when he arrived at Toto, he wanted to engage a reverse gear because he knows on how to put it. You have to go the other side that supermarket to buy me a toy. So, because he was very crazy, he just went. I thank God he didn't find what he wanted. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Are we together? So, what, what he found, and I told him I cannot get this. I will not buy this. So, there are things that you can even say to God where you do your prayers and you tell you this one, no, for now, no. Because it will be a waste. It will be a waste. Now when, when I convinced him and he picked, I think they were two toys. We went from the, the, the floor that you, 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 you shopped those toys. Now when we went to the, other, to the other floor, there are some things that I was trying to, to check. I told them, let us leave the basket here so that we we'll go and pick what he said, no, my toys are not safe. I told him they are safe. And we left. But I tell you the truth. Willie left me where I was. He went and he was trying to carry the, that basket. 
so that his toys will be safe. So God is happy to give you something when you can't it jealously. Tell somebody if you can arise and begin to guard things jealously in your life. Some of us are wondering, some people are coming to salvation within no time they are up in life. Yes, because they have come wise. If you are wise and if you are zealous, you are having the zeal, there is nothing that God will keep. Hallelujah. Now, where we were. Jacob, when he, he lied down there, he was able to understand the place where he was. It was a gateway to heaven. Praise the Lord. It was a gateway to heaven. So the first connection that God wants with your life, it is for the heavenly gates to open over your destiny. If those gates are open, if you have a connection in the altar of God, God knows whatever he releases is safe. God knows if you have a connection with him, if he gives you house from the altar, that house will be safe. If you remain in the altar. If he gives you a wife from the altar and you remain in the altar, he knows that wife is safe. If he gives you a husband, a property, a company from the altar and you remain in the altar, God knows there is no loss in the kingdom. Hallelujah. He knows that there is no loss in the kingdom. So when Jacob slept there and the Bible says, and he was a friend and said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven. So in the mountain of God, in the house of God, this is where we find our divine gate of our destiny. And if you are connected to the altar of God, to the mountain of God, other gates of your life, they are safe. Why? You will receive the key, the password, the buttons, the buttons to count whatever the Lord gives unto you. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Now, <laughs> where we have read in the book of Isaiah, 6 verse 11, the Bible says, Therefore, your gate shall be open continually. And from this morning, I came to declare over your life because now you are waking up from your slumber. You will guard the gates of your destiny. I am declare now by the authority of the word of God. May the gate of your destiny, may the gate of your life remain open continually in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say may the gate of your destiny remain open continually. They shall not shut day or night. So I came to announce that uh, that you'll be in a, in a continuous season from now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare the open of the season of favor, the opening of the season of greatness, the opening of the doors uh, day and night uh, that there shall be flow. Let me tell you the truth. You may not understand it, but we are not where we used to be. I said your life is not where you used to be. Right now you may not be having what you would wish to have but I want to tell you from the realm of the spirit everything has shifted I said everything has shifted that business has shifted so when you go there go carrying the authority of the word of God stand by the word of God when you go to that office let that office know that you are a new person that you are carrying another mandate that your life is no longer the same let your account know <laughs> I said let your account Count no from today it should not operate in the figures that it was operating before I came to tell you there is a shift in there is a shift in there is a wake up call I said there is a wake up call I came to declare this morning there is a wake up call wake up 
wake up and guard. I said wake up and guard because what God is releasing you need to be alert. I said you need to be alert so that whatever the Lord is releasing this season it will not end up with you. It will be a generational thing. Are we together? I came to tell you what your parents were not able to give you. The Lord is giving you ability to give your children. I said what you never inherited from your parents. God is giving you power. He is giving you ability to give to your children's children. The Bible says a righteous man. Are you a righteous man? Are you a righteous man? I came to tell you before you exit this world, you shall give inheritance to your children, children. I said you won't give inheritance to your children, children. Why? Your gates are not shut anymore. I said your gates are not shut anymore. Day and night they shall remain open. Then men will bring to you wealth of the Gentiles. <laughs> Don't forget, when they came out of Egypt, they came out with silver and gold. Are we together? They came out with silver and gold, and nobody was feeble. So this is not the time to express weakness. This is not the time to, to speak that you don't have money. Begin to declare money, run, money flows like a river. Money knows me. Everywhere you go, begin even to give your account to the hair. Unaandika account yako, unapeana namba yako, unayandika, and you begin to declare. There is, there is the flow of wealth. And you shall declare a thing and it shall be established for you. There's somebody, there's a language that we are not talking here. Are we together? There are, there, there are some language that we are not talking. We are talking what heaven is talking. I said we are talking what heaven is talking. When you go home, speak to your family what heaven is saying. Speak to your children what heaven is saying. Speak to your money. Speak to your to your, to your business, speak to your office, speak what heaven is speaking. Tell somebody, don't be stupid. Speak what heaven is speaking. Hallelujah. Speak what heaven is speaking. And don't apologize for that. Don't apologize for that. Begin to declare, I am blessed. I cannot go down. I am not miserable. I have everything that God has released unto my life. And that is how you will transform. And that's how you manifest. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, we are in the time. We are in the ripe season. When Gentiles. Gentiles. Are bringing their wealth. Anything can happen any time from now. That is why you should be very sensitive in the spirit. I was giving you a testimony here. One woman of God was giving, especially when, when we had our daughters of testimony conference, of our lady, a simple girl, a poor girl, living in Nazareth. Nazareth of Kudera. She was poor. Very poor. But prayerful. How you need to be prayerful. <laughs> Prayer can change things. Hallelujah. Prayer can position you where your papers cannot position you. She was praying, praying, praying. And in the middle of prayer, she was told, write this number. She wrote the number. And she was told, call this number. It is during the days of those booths. She had no money. But she tried to look for some coins. Guess what? When she found some coins and called, that call was received from the state house. State house. The state house that people want to go in the next regime. Hallelujah. And she was told, we have been waiting for you. This is the second week. Me? Waiting for me? She, she was told, yes. And she went to this tomb. When you can't engage with your destiny, you are able to sense when a divine being is entering. Hallelujah. Now, when she was asked where she is and if she can come, and she learned that she has an appointment in the state house, 
she was asked the car not, not the number plate of the car that will take her there she has no car very poor but she went to a taxi man she told that man i want you to take me somewhere tomorrow and i want you to dress nicely you don't have money but i'll pay you tomorrow <laughs> so the taxi guy mocked her don't take me i take you dressed with a black suit and a white shirt and you don't have money to pay me useless girl she told her i have an appointment in the state house the man asked her at what time i'll take you so they arranged the lady went back to the booth called and she gave the number plate of the car she was told you will be waiting tomorrow at this and this time at gate b May the Lord open your gate. I said, may the Lord open your gate. The gate that you have been desiring to see it open. May this grace rest upon you this day in the mighty name of the Lord. That divine gate that will usher you to the fulfillment of your dream. May the Lord open it in Jesus' name. She went there the following day, tight security, and she was taken, guess to who? To the first lady late, Lucy Kibaki. She went, they sat together. And mama told her, I have been waiting because this and this tender is late. She was asked if she can make the uniform for the state house choir. Sidonia Alianza. <laughs> Within two weeks, if she can deliver, she said yes. She don't know even how to hold that machine. She said, I can do that. And she was given two weeks. She was asked uh, what she requires so that the work will flow. She said, let me just do some, 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 some calculations. She went to the best designer. Are we together? To the best who? Somebody don't be foolish. When you are given some opportunities, even if you have never delivered and say, this is what I do. Are we together? This is what I do. I, I specialize on this. And the Holy Ghost will make you a professional. <laughs> to cut a very long story short, she was able to deliver within two weeks uniform that was done in an excellent manner. And what happened? That's how she was able to work during the time of the late Kibaki. For 10 years, she was doing the uniform. As if that was not enough, she prayed for somebody whom she never knew and the the man that she prayed for and cancer and got well may the lord begin to activate the gift in you i said may the gates of the gift that are in lord in you begin to open up in jesus name she prayed for someone who had cancer and the man got healed guess what she was she received another call when you carry royalty i tell you the truth you become something else you can you can be blocked but not for life you can be shut out but not for life i came to tell you i don't care for how long you have stayed out this is the time for you to go in i said this is the time for you to go in she received a call and this call when she answered it was a call from the king where in what do you call it dubai she was called from the palace and when she was called there the king was telling telling her you pray you healed you healed my my son she was trying to tell the king i'm not the one who heals she said no but it is you who healed she was given two weeks to enjoy in the palace, interacting with the mighty. Hallelujah. She was able to introduce them to her God. And from there, she was asked if she has a foundation. She said, yes, I have one. Hallelujah. I have one. Immediately, she came, registered a foundation to help the needy. The money that she was given to help the needy. The calls were coming from east, west, north, south. She was being called from the central bank to know who is this individual who is being sent such an amount of money 
for Malta in the country. The card of Bedlam for Isha. She was the one who the government to pay the child. And I could pressure the Rikali to live our limo, Rati Limo, and Gana Beba Mabango. If you have a teacher here, that girl. A bit together. Why? When your intestine gates are well content and you are connected to the divine gate of heaven, I tell you the truth, you get wealth from sources that you have never dreamt. When God grants you a chance to have access to the wealth of the nations, to the wealth of the Gentiles, some people that you are seeing controlling out there, they come and become subject to you. I came to awaken you. Be alert and wait for anything from now because anything can happen from the throne of God. I said anything can happen from the throne of God. And if we are together, can you say a Amen. Can you say amen? Lift up your right hand and declare the gate of your destiny. May they open up day and night. Can you speak to any gate that was shut in your life? Any gate that was vulnerable, whatever was, was occupying, whatever was opposing the gate of your destiny, any power of darkness, any demon deployed to challenge or to guard the gate of your destiny. May the Lord God strike them. I said, may the angel of the Lord strike them in the name of Jesus Christ. If we are together, can you say amen? Can you say amen? Now, uh, something else that you are supposed to notice this. Gates or doors act as notice bones. Please note that. Gates or doors act as notice bones for angels to determine whether the occupants of the house or of that place are of God or not. Gates or doors act as notice bones for angels to determine whether the occupants of that place or that house is of God or not. Another thing, anything unauthorized, anything that is authorized by the word of God, anything that is not authorized by the word of God is not supposed to enter through the gates of your destiny. Anything that is not authorized by the word of God is not supposed to enter through the gates of your destiny. So poverty is not authorized by the word of God. Sicknesses and diseases, those things are not authorized by the word of God and they are not supposed to come and govern your life. Divorce and separation is not authorized by the word of God. Therefore, it is not permitted. I said it is not permitted to enter through the gate of your destiny. If we are together, can you say amen? Smallness is not authorized by the word of God to come and dwell in your life. And death is not authorized by the word of God to come and dwell in your destiny or in your premises. So you are not supposed, you should look around your life. What has settled in your life is the word of God for it or against it. I want you to check on your life. If something has been dwelling, if something has been settling in your life, that which is contrary to the word of God, you need to understand there is a gate that you opened. There is a door that you opened. So you need to arise and shut those things and kick them out of your life. Deuteronomy 6 verse 9, take us there as, 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 as we conclude for now, as we conclude for now, Deuteronomy 6 verse 9, quickly take me there. Are, are, are you getting something? So you need uh, to look around your life. What is this that has been sitting over my life? What is this that I have been fighting with? What does the word say? Compare what, your, what is operating in your life with what the word has said. If what is what is fighting you, what is opposing you, is not that which the word of God has prescribed, reject it. Understand, you left an open door. Guard it. Shut those things out, kick them out, and then guard the gate. Hallelujah. We guard the gate prayer through prayers. We guard the gates through fastings. We guard the gates through declarations. We guard the gates through our sacrifices. Tikopamoja. Now, the Bible says, you shall write them. These are the laws. 
God. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gate. Hey. Sometimes <laughs> when, the, when, when the weekend forces want to tamper or to interfere with your, with your, with your life, they come at the gate. <laughs> they come at, the, at your apostle was giving me a testimony I, I believe it was last month or, or the beginning of this month he went somewhere to minister and uh, the pastor told him I want us to, to go somewhere where we will be taking our dinner so that you can pray uh, for that business and when they went there, it was a cave. And that cave was a cave of the member of the church, of that pastor. And uh, before they prayed, this man said, my wife was here at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the counter, and a mad man, a mad man who is known in the city is a mad man, came and stood at the entrance of the, of the cave. And he said, you think you are going to prosper? You will die. Can't you see? This and this hotel, they opened, the wife died. This and this cave, the husband died. The madman mentioned all the caves and all the effect, the, the businesses that were making impact in the, in the city. And now said, you man, you are going to die. And he left. The madman. And where did, he, where did he stand? At the door. So you can, you can just ignore some things. You can sleep and at night, <laughs> a weekend, which they are wicked, can come and do some activities at your gate. At your gate, at night. That is why you should mark your gate. You should mark your, the, the doors of your house, even before you sleep. You should mark them with the word of God. You should declare the angel of God. You should declare the, the presence of God. Otherwise, you, you, you just enter through and get from there, Hendrik. From there, confusion. From there, losses. From there, debts. And your life just ends like that. Why? Because somebody stood and governed you and get. Stood and governed you and get. In the negative. So this was a, <coughs> this was a man a mad man. This year, I, believe, I don't know it was last month. Apostle comes here for, from Grace House. And he met a woman at the, at, the, at the entrance, almost at the entrance of this door. That woman was, was just crossing the road and she could come point to the church, speak, 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 speak. She go again, she goes again, cross the road, comes and points at the door, begins to speak. And when, when he arrived, he saw this, this woman appears as if he is mad, she is mad, but she is not mad. When he came out, she ran. And that's the time we started to annul whatever she was doing against the church. Now, how many of us, you have been asleep? You have been surrounded. The gate of your mind, she should not reason. She should not think. She should be. Let her lose friends. Let her lose whatever would make her great. Let everybody hate her. Let everybody. And from, from nowhere, nobody wants to associate with you. Nobody wants anything about you. Nobody wants to operate anything with you. And you wonder what is happening. Because there is a loophole. The, devil say, uh, the, 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 the Bible says you should not give devil a foothold. So we are supposed to go to the gates. If you, are, if you leave your destiny gate, you become a complainer. Because everything around you is not well. Abba Cook was complaining in chapter 1 because he had left the watchtower. He had left the gate. And all what was happening around, he was seeing God as if he is not fair. But when he understood, oh, it is not about God. It is me who has left the gates of the destiny of the nation. It is me who has left the gate of the family. It is me who has left the gate of the city and guarded. When he went there, this is the time he had God. And God told him, write the vision. The vision awaits 
the appointed time. And at the end, though it tarries, it speaks. So, when you guard the gates of your destiny, depression will not kill you. Because you know where you are going. You have assurance. I send you have assurance. So from now, begin to mark the gates of your house, the gates of your destiny with the wand of God. I send with the wand of God so that when the angel of destruction comes, your family will be safe. You, you are, you are, you are, you are, your life will be safe. Now, where we start and the Bible says, lift up your hands, O ye gates. Lift up your hands. So that the king of glory will come in. We want this morning to call upon the name of God. We want this morning to command our economic gates to lift up their hands. Our family gates to lift up their hands. Ah, Whatever gate has been shut in our lives, we want to command by the authority of the word of God that those gates must open up. I said that those gates must open up. That those gates of greatness, those gates of prosperity, and success, they must lift up their hands uh, for the king of glory to come in. We want to speak even to the doors. Hallelujah. Even the everlasting doors. To do what? To open up. Because if you are shut from the realm of the spirit, you'll never get access to the physical realm. Hallelujah. If the doors of breakthrough are shut, even if you try to do things, they, <laughs> they will be collapsing. That's why many of us, they have an experience of starting, but they don't have the experience of enjoying the progress. Yeah. Some of us have a cycle. You begin something after three, four months, that, that business is off. You begin another. Two, three months, five months, six, when you are you're in the sixth month, you are saying this time round, Thank you, Jesus. When you have said that, shh. So we want to break those cycles. And we want to position ourselves from the realm of the spirit. This time round, you will make it. I said this time round, you will make it. Be on your feet and begin to speak to the gate, uh, to the gate of your destiny, to hear the word of God. To he I said to, to hear the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, ah, come on. Individual gate, uh, family gate, uh, the gate of this city, the gate of the nation, whatever attack, whatever attack has been launched uh, in, in the gate, uh, when declare, when decree by the word of God, by the word of God. Ah, Kabaraba Shanta. Our destiny gates are safe. Our destiny gates are safe. Our destiny gates are safe. Can you begin to pray in the name of the Lord? Declare the blood of the lamp, the blood of the covenant over your destiny gate. Over your destiny gate. Oh, when the angel of destruction destroyed the first bones of Egypt, the, 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 the houses of Israelites were safe. Why? They applied the blood. They applied the blood. Therefore, plead the blood of Jesus over the gate of your destiny, over the gate of your family, over the gate of the work of your hands, over the gate of your health. In the name of the Lord, whatever you have invited, whatever you have invited, whatever you have given access through the gate, through the gate, and it is not of God, kick it out of your life. Kick it out of your life. That sickness that you have personalized. Uh, kick it out. Uh, it has no power over your life. Uh, it has no power over your body. I said, uh, even if you are carrying a report uh, from a doctor, annul and now refuse uh, and declare through the stripes of Jesus Christ, uh, you are healed uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Whatever you have given access, uh, whatever you have given access, uh, and it is is intimidating your life. It is destroying your life. Ah, this morning, this morning, ah, this morning, refuse. Like Jacob, like Jacob, we are in the mountain of the Lord. We are in the altar of God. Declare, declare. 
any other altar, any other altar that is servicing uh, your life, uh, that is giving access uh, to the wrong doors, uh, to the wrong gates uh, in your life. Uh, declare from the altar of God, from the altar of God, from the altar of God, from the altar of God. Declare your family is safe. Uh, declare your children are safe. Uh, declare your city is safe. Uh, declare your nation is safe. Uh, declare your business. Uh, no powers of darkness uh, are permitted. Uh, intrude us. Uh, intrude us. Uh, intrude us uh, in your life. Uh, let them uh, let them vacate. Uh, let them vacate. Uh, let them live your life. Uh, let failure live your life. Uh, let discouragement live your life. Uh, let uh, whatever whatever you have accepted uh, that is contrary to the word of God. Let it live your life. Uh, let it live your life. Uh, let it live your life. Uh, Rapakata zata, la pakata zanta, la pakata la bashanta, la pakazota, la pakanta la bashaya, la pakazanda. We speak the fire of the Holy Ghost in the highways, in the highways of demons, in the highways of the forces of darkness. We block, we block the paths of evil, we block the paths of wickedness by the fire of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost of the Holy Ghost angels of God angels of God angels of God who are supposed to help us oh to win the battles in our destinies come and help come and help come and help come on call call let the angels that are supposed to give you to give you to give you help let them take charge let them take charge in all you and get in all you and get in all you and get la pakata zokata La pakata zata, la pakata rabaha, la pakanda la barabashaya, la pakata la bazota, la pakata la barabianda, la pakata la barabaha, la pakata zata, la pakata la barabahanda, la pakata rabaha, la pakanta la bashanda, la pakata la pakata la bashaya, ah, la pakata la bashaya, la pakata la bashaya, la and writing written in the demonic world in the gate of your destiny whatever whatever mark any mark that has been put uh, in your destiny uh, in the gate of your destiny to destroy your life uh, can you erase uh, those marks uh, by the power of the blood of Jesus Declare the blood of Jesus. Declare the blood of Jesus. La pakata zanta. We erase. We erase. We erase any instruction given in the weekend world in the gates of our destinies. La pozota la baha. La pakata. La pakata la bashaya. La pakata We shut the gates of evil. We shut the gates of sicknesses. We shut the gates of divorce, uh, we shut the gates of death, uh, we shut the gates of poverty, we shut uh, shut every gate uh, of evil, shut it funga karika jimna la yesu la pakata libaha la pazota, la pakariba shanta in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, I want you to take a minute and declare now by the authority of God where you have been denied, where you have been kept uh, uh, for long and the Lord already released you. Can you command the opening of the doors, uh, the, the opening, the opening. Uh, declare you are getting access uh, of your glorious level. You are getting access uh, in your next level of glory, in the next level of that business, uh, in the next level of that man in the next level of your career in the name of the Lord in the next level where you have been denied access where you have been denied access and the Lord has commanded you the Lord has already commissioned you declare 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 let those gates open let them open let them open freely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I speak to the gates of this ministry 
ministry open up now I command the northern gates lift up your hands for the king of glory to come in I command the southern gates of this ministry the eastern and western gates of this ministry lift up your hands lift up your hands for the king of glory to come in even everlasting doors open up I command the eastern western northern and southern gates of my destiny open up lift up your hands for the king of glory to come in for the king of glory to come in for the king of glory to come in in Jesus mighty name the next verse says this who is this king of glory come take us there as we wind up as we wind up because he is he is now determined when he when he sees that you are aware you know he comes to give you help he comes to fight for you who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty so we want to enthrone jesus christ he is strong he is mighty in our lives he is the lord mighty in battle tell the lord to take over your battles from now to take over your your your, your battles at the gate when peter was released from the prison the doors of the prison opened why the angel was there to get to accord him help and when they went out there was the big gate of the city the big gate of the city that big gate uh, opened by itself uh, so let the Lord uh, mighty in battle take over now take over now when he takes over you don't lose uh, you don't lose battles uh, therefore this season of release uh, Lord Jesus uh, you are mighty you are mighty in battle take over our battles uh, fight our battles oh Lord Lord, fight our battles, O oh Lord. Fight our battles, O oh Lord. From now, we shall not lose. Uh, we shall not lose. Uh, we shall not bow to the enemies. Uh, we shall not submit uh, to the lies of the devil. In the mighty name of the Lord, uh, somebody declare you are victorious. Uh, declare you are more than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus, uh, declare you are a winner. Declare it is your time to make it. Uh, you are making it. Uh, you are making it. Uh, you are making it. You are not a loser. You are not losing anymore. You are going up. You are accessing what you have never accessed before. Ah, You are accessing wealth that you have never accessed before. When the Lord who is strong and mighty, when he comes in your life, when he took over the life of King Cyrus, even the wealth in the dark places, he was given access. He was given access. Rapakata zata. Rapakata la balabaha. Rapakata la bashanda. Rapakata riabaha. Rapakazanda. I command the gate at the marketplace to open up in the favor of the children of God. Then gate at the marketplace. Open up. Open up. Open up. Hear the word of God. Open up. For these children of God, open up, open up, gates of finances, open up, open up, Rakaria Bakata, Rapakata Labaha, Rapaka Zokata Zanda, in Jesus' name, we are praying and believed. Say amen. And finally, the word reckons very well, I quoted, that the gates of Jericho were tightly shut because of the children of Israel. The children of Israel, they were not going to settle in Jericho, right? That, but that was an entry for them to get access into the promised land. But it was shut. So, uh, God can just release you and the main place of your entry is guarded and a shot. Can you address the main place of your entry in your glorious level in your promised land? Ah, can you command uh, any Jericho that is standing before you, any Jericho that is guarded, uh, so that you not get access uh, and 
Continue with your journey to the place of blessing. Continue with your journey to the place of rest. Let that Jericho, let the gate and the wall fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. Rapakata la baraba. Rapakata la pakata rabaha. Rapakanda libaha. Riapakazoka. Ripakata la baha. Rirabo shanta la bazota. Rapakata. Zota la pakaria bahanda in Jesus' mighty name. Some of us, you are not getting this, but let me tell you, there is something that you are supposed to start in your life for you to make it. Am I talking to us? There is a place where God has designed them. This is the place of entry. It can be a business. It can be something that is divine, and in the realm of the spirit, that is like the main gate. Tuko pamoja. Unaezaanzia kuuza vitu fulani na kulingana na Mungu that is the the main gate to your entry. There are places that you go before you arrive to the place you are passed through four or five gates. Right? <laughs> if you could not access that first gate, you cannot be accepted in the second and in the third. Those who have 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 have, have, have traveled uh, like now, if 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 you are if your passport gets the stamp of Israel, which they don't do, they don't put their stamps. But we thank God, 2019 they did to our passport. If if your passport has a, a stamp of Israel, other nations in the world, they accept you without many scrutinies. Because they know for you to go to Israel, to be accepted to Israel, you are a clean person. <laughs> we went 2013, we traveled with a young man who went, traveled in Arabic nations. Stamp yaki yikuwa na mihuri Arabic nations. We were, we were grounded for, for, for entry at Media Israel for four hours. Because he was being screamed, they could not believe him. They were treating him as a suspect. So some of us, they are, they are, they are testing it as a, a, a strange stamp, a strange seal. So you must be stopped. So that you can be analyzed, scrutinized because of the seal that you are carrying. I want you to go before the Lord and declare any seal, any stamp that is sealed in the gate of your destiny, that is threatening, come on, that is threatening your progress, that is threatening the speed of your uh, of life, that is threatening your, your success. Come on, come on, come on. Deal with any demonic stamp. Kila muhuri ambao mepigwa katika malango ya atimayako. Na hiyo inasababisha uzuiliwe Lift your voice to the law. Lift your voice to the law. Declare those stamps. Uh, those stamps. Uh, those seals. Uh, in the name of the Lord. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Where you have been kept uh, to be scrutinized. Uh, because they are treating you as a suspect. Uh, ah, from now. I declare favor. I declare the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over every individual's life. If you believe, shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Say, oh earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of God. From now, I command you all the gates of evil that are established on you against my life. May they shut. I shut them in the name of Jesus. I declare from now you are instructed only to open up the gates uh, of blessings, uh, the gates uh, that the Lord has opened for me in the name of Jesus. Write it down. Thus says the Lord, this is the season of my release and therefore all my days shall be marked uh, with prosperity and fruitfulness. Even my children, the gates of their destinies are safe in the name of the Lord. They 
they shall be prosperous, they shall be fruitful, they shall be mighty on the Lord and together we shall ascend to the places of influence in the name of the Lord. Write it down that our souls have been delivered from death, our eyes from tears, our feet from falling and we shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living 2022 and beyond and you nations of the world hear the word of the Lord ah write it down capture this that my gates shall remain open day and night to receive the wealth of the Gentiles if you believe can you shout amen put your hands together and celebrate the Lord and celebrate the Lord. Your gates are safe. Your destiny 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 gates are safe. You are no longer a victim. In Jesus' name, you may have your seat and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I have a lot, but for the sake of those you will not be with us in the coming services, you can notice we have several types of gates. One, it is the gates of righteousness, and I pray that this season, the gates of righteousness will open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That is in line with Psalm 118, 19. I've been dealing with that. They are the gates of death. And those gates, we are shutting them. And we have shut them in the name of the Lord. Job is talking about them. Number three, the gates of Zion, which the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, the gates of the church. That's why you should be a worshiper. Hallelujah. That's why you should be a worshiper. And there are also the gates of lamenting and mourning. The gates of lamenting and mourning. So when those gates are opened in your life, you moon, you, you lament all the time. We will be shutting those gates in Jesus' mighty name. And also the gates of treasures and riches. The gates of treasures and riches. We will be getting this in Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. Gates of lament, lamenting and mourning. These are in, in, in line with Isaiah 3, verse 26. And uh, Lamentation, chapter 1, verse 4. The gates of Zion, we will be looking at Isaiah 50, uh, 87, verse 2. Are we together? And I'll be showing us how to guard your destiny gates. One way of guarding is through praise and through thanksgiving. We'll be dealing with this in the coming service. And our lives will never be the same. I said that our lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Our online church from the King's House, uh, we sing God bless you, will be coming shortly. By 9.30 we'll be tuning uh, again. So uh, be set and I'm telling you, be set if where you are, there are people, they are the place of work, they are employed somewhere, and they are there because they cannot um, be able to go to church. If you are in your house, get out and go to a place of worship. As if you son, token away the kanisani, upon the pombarakayako, itaweza kukukuta. Let us appreciate our online church in the mighty name of Jesus. And quickly, let us bless the Lord with our sacrifice.